Greetings folks, Pockets here, back with another Pockets Quick Tips, Eve Online. And today we are on Kel, and I need to set up for tonight's fleet, and that means getting into an quote-unquote empty pod. And I figured this would be a good opportunity to show the new bros how this is done. I do see a lot of people struggling with how to work with clones, and so I figured I'd do a quick video on how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is train your clone skill. So we're going to bring it up here, skills. And then under Infomorph, Neuro Enhancement, Infomorph Psychology, no, Infomorph, yeah, this one. Uh, for every point you can train this skill, you get one extra clone. So you can see I have four clones total. So I have the one I'm in plus four. Um, Alphas can train this to one, so you can always have at least one spare clone, and that's important. So definitely train that up. The other one, oh, I haven't actually trained it yet, is this one here. Uh, this is on my queue to train. I don't know why it hasn't been trained. Uh, Infomore synchronizing, which reduces the time by one hour between jumping clones. So I will plan on getting this up. The biggest thing is I don't do a lot of timed clone jumping, and we'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, but let's go ahead and just, you know, so I don't forget, let's just cue this in. Uh, that should be enough. And we'll put it up. We'll just get it trained now while I'm thinking about it. Just because it will be helpful. All right, so first things first. We're going to set our medical clone. So if we look at our character, and you can see I currently have one clone sitting. This is my active clone. Oh, this is my augmentation of my active clone. So you can see I have my booster and I have my implants. If I go to jump clones, I also have one clone in null sec. It's empty that I can jump to if I want to go do something in null sec. And I have one clone in flea. This is my slave clone for fleets when I'm flying logi, armor logi. Uh, so it just stays there. So these two clones are staying where they are. And my next clone right here is where it says when your next clone jump is available. So if I was to right now jump from my active clone to one of these clones, I would set like a 24 hour timer. So I can do that jump once every two hours, reduced by your synchronizing skill that I just showed you. But I don't want to do that. And also here we see my medical clone is currently in null sec. We don't want my medical clone in null sec. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to the station I'm currently in. So I do this, and I can set it to Federation Recruitment Center. Boom. 100,000 ISK. Excellent. So now my jump clone is here. Uh, it'll just, or my, my medical clone is here. Well, it takes a second for this to update. There we go. So what this means is if I my pod dies, if I get exploded in my pod, I will wake up in this station. And that's perfect, because this is where I'm home now. Next up. And you can change that if you're in this if you're in the station you can change that whenever and you can also change it to your school so your npc one uh where is it here down here um or i can change it to my corporate office once every 20 365 days remotely uh, so that's if you're not in the station okay if you're in the station you can do it whenever if you want to do it remotely you can do that once every year uh, i haven't used that yet so that's great so that's medical clone. Next, how to set up a free clone jump. This is great. So what you can do is if you're in a citadel, you can jump to a clone, the, the, the one clone in that citadel for free without, uh, without spawning the timer. So we're going to go ahead and set that up. So the first thing you have to do is be in a station that has a clone bay and our system has a clone bay. And you can see here and at the very bottom of the same window. So there's our medical clone. We can change the station. Uh, we could self-destruct and warp to our medical station but we're already there so that doesn't matter and i have two more clones available so i'm just going to go ahead and install a clone in this station uh, because i own the station it's free for me so we're going to go ahead and do that so now we've installed a clone in the station and we're in this station so we'll bring up our character sheet again go to character here we go we have our federation recruitment center clone it is blank and so for tonight i plan on not coming back at all so I'm going to go until I get clone spawned back in my medical clone. So I don't want to take my training clone. Let's just pull it up here. I'll show you. Um, boom. It's been a hundred mil is clone. It's not the most expensive and eventually it will be replaced with uh, some pirate implants. I'm just sort of saving up. I want to get a certain implant set, but right now I've got my standard training implants, which give me plus 40 each stat, which is great. Cause that's six skill points a minute while training for any skill. But I don't want to lose this clone. And so I'm just going to go right ahead and jump to the clone in this station. Now, 
Again, if I jump to either of these two, I'm going to incur a 24 hour clone timer and I won't be able to jump back right away. But in this station, I go ahead and jump to it. Uh, cost me zero is because what's happening is I'm taking this clone and installing my augmented clone here. Boom. So now we will see that my training clone is stationed safely in here. Oops. And my empty clone is now equipped minus the cerebral accelerator, which is nice. It carries on with the character, not the clone and persists through death. So it's perfect. And now I'm in an empty clone. I can get blown up and there we go. So that's that. So basically train up the skill to at least one, install a clone in, a, in your home system, and then you can switch between implants. Now, the nice thing with Omegas is you can have multiple stations, each with its own clone. I had that set up at one point in Fliet, but some of the clones got killed and I haven't replaced them. So I could have, for example, you saw my slave clone for battleship fightings. I could have uh, my high sec, I have my training clone, so I can flip between these two depending on what I'm doing. And you can see there's no timer, so I can just switch right back. And so yeah, setting up multiple clones isn't a bad idea if you can get multiple clone bays in an area. You can just switch to an empty clone at any station or fly to the station that houses the clone you want to use. Uh, so you can do that for free and there's no timer. Now I am going to have to remember to do that tonight. So I'm actually going to go right ahead. I'm just going to actually leave it because I'm a few hours out, but I don't think I'm going to get to play much before then. So I'm just going to stay. So I'm flipping back and forth as many times as I want. Now, if you do this in an NPC station, I don't think you can. I think you can only do it in a Citadel for free. I'd have to chest that. Hasn't been an issue because there's Citadels everywhere. And if it's not your Citadel, or sometimes Citadels do charge for installing clones, so you'd have to pay that charge every time. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, flipping back and forth between clones, it's that easy. So, especially if you're in my group and you haven't already, go ahead and install a clone in our, our Astrohus and take advantage. You could set yourself up a PvE clone and a mining clone, I don't know. But there you go, go nuts. Uh, so that's been another Pockets Quick Tip for EVE Online, uh, how to use clones. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, and take care, everyone. Fly safe. I'm out of here.